Hello. Today I decided to do a slightly different type of video. I'm going to be drawing a planet in space. So our first step is to change this canvas from white to black. I'm going to be using Procreate. So if you are going to be using Procreate as well, follow this. Go to the layer section, click it, click the background color and change it to black. Once you're done with that, select a color. And once you found one that you like, make an ellipse shape by going and clicking this S, clicking ellipse and clicking color fill. Then we're gonna drag our pencil out like that. And I think I'm gonna keep it here. Click the S again, just stop. And now you've got your planet's shape and its basic color. Now you're going to go to the layer again. I'm gonna click it. We're gonna put on something called alpha lock. This will make sure any patterns or things that we make on the planet's surface don't spill out onto everything else. You'll know that it's on alpha lock when there's a slight grid pattern behind the shape. Once you've done that, go to your brushes and select the hearts brush. You can do that by going to artistic and it'll be there. Once you've selected it, go out of the brushes and start making or start drawing different things. So stick to similar colors that you have within your range. And this will be useful for drawing your land. The planet that I'm going to be drawing today will be kind of Mars-like, as in it'll be a desert and it'll be rocky. I'll put more tutorials for planets with water and gaseous planets later. Once you're done with that, choose a color lighter than your base color and go add details for that one as well. Switch between darker and lighter colors until you have a scheme that you're happy with. Once you've got something, go back onto layers again, and we're going to make our atmosphere. Now, if you don't want an atmosphere, my suggestion is, is to follow the same steps that I'll be doing, but just use one and make sure that it's on full opacity. So to make an atmosphere, we're going to duplicate this layer this duplicate layer that it's selected on right now is going to be the planet. We're going to go to the one below it. We're going to choose that something similar to that middle color again. And we're going to go to that bottom layer and we're going to click fill. This will make sure that that layer is all the same color. And we're going to, you see this arrow over here? We're going to click that arrow. We're gonna make sure that the settings on uniform and we're gonna drag this out somewhat to something like that. Then we're going to move it towards the center. We're gonna center it as well as you can. I'm going to turn off this moving thing. Then what we're gonna do is that we're going to, you see this N over here? We're gonna click that N. This has a bunch of settings, but for now we're only going to focus on this thing called opacity. This is how transparent it is. We're going to set it to something below 100, depending on how thick or thin you want your atmosphere to be. I've set mine to 79. Once you're done with that, 
duplicate the layer again. And we're going to use this layer at the bottom and we're going to extend this one a bit. Now we're going to center it again like we did for the other one. We're going to repeat the process as many times as you want. I'm going to do another third time. Now that you're done with that, you can fiddle with the opacities if you want. I'm going to change some of mine. But once you're done tinkering with them, go to the top layer. This will be the layer with your planet surface details. We're going to click it and you're going to notice that there's something that says merge down. We're going to click merge down and we're going to do this until all the layers are one. Once we're done with that, we're going to work on our shadow. So click the brushes again, go to airbrushing and here we're going to find something called soft blend. Click soft blend and choose black for your shades. You can also choose a very dark version of this depending on what you want your shadows to be. Mm. Now you're going to try and make a vague crescent shape that sort of symbolizes the curvature of the planet. You might want to go and retry this a bunch of times until you get something that looks nice. You also might find out this way whether your layers are combined or not. I think I'm content with something like this. So once you find you're happy with your shading, we're going to take our brush again and we're going to do something rather interesting with them. We're going to lower our size and we're going to zoom in so that we get this really nice. And we're going to lightly press the boundary layer this is going to create a sort of haze that might resemble a twilight zone. Once you're finished with your haze, you might want to leave off here. But if you're interested in the backdrop for the planet, then let's say maybe you want a star. So we're going to move this planet off to the edge and we're going to change our color. I'm going to use a yellow whitish color, something like that. Then we're going to go to the luminance section for brushes and we're going to choose something called flare. Flare is important because it looks like the stars glow. So we're going to set our canvas perfectly and we're going to, going to fiddle with our size. We're going to change the different aspects of what you want your star to look like. I think I'm going to do that. Then flip your canvas. Do the same thing in this direction. Mm. 
there you go. Now, if you want another layer of depth, you can add stars to the background. So we're gonna go to brushes again. We're gonna click something called glimmer. Now from a distance, most stars look mostly white. So we're going to go and choose the white brush. And we're going to dot this area with stars. Make sure that as you get closer to the sun, that you reduce your opacity and reduce the amount of stars that are there because the sun kind of blocks out a lot of light. Once you're content with that, you're basically finished. Thank you for watching. I'll be back next time with tutorials on gas giants, on planets with water, and rings. Thanks.